All right, I wanted to talk a little bit about our media uploading because it's such a complicated process and such a big thing that we do on trips like this. Um, and I don't think people, even people on the trip with me, let alone people watching from home, have any kind of idea of what we do to make this all possible. So first of all, you have to understand we have multiple cameras and we generate between like 10 and 70 gigabytes of media per day. That's photos and mostly videos, right? So that's a ton. That's a lot of data that we got to get somewhere. And that's just raw footage, right? It's not edited. It's not anything. And we don't have the equipment or the time to do editing. So it's, it's a bit rough to work with. Our first priority is not getting it uploaded. Our first priority is getting it into uh, into a hard drive so that we can continue to film tomorrow. Because you see, the problem is, is we fill up the storage of the cameras and the phones every day. So if we don't offload at the end of the day, and in many cases in the middle of the day, we can't keep filming because we're out of space. So that's our number one thing, is keeping that process going. We gotta set up a laptop, hook up an external, we have a four terabyte drive, and then we copy everything off to that, and that's how we get things empty, and we do all of our uploads and working from that hard drive, because we just kind of have to. Logistically, it's the only thing that works. So that's a major part of every day, and that may sound like, oh, you just copy over some files, but when you're dealing with like 70 gigs of data, it actually takes an hour of every day. First thing we do, we get home after dinner or whatever, I sit down and start backing up those files, not really backing up, make, moving them so we can clear off the original, and that's an hour just before the data is accessible to the, to the desktop, to the laptop. Once we've done that, then we can start considering what we're gonna upload. So the first thing I try to do is get the photos uploaded to Flickr because they're the smallest items and they're kind of the most important and they let people really see what's going on and they allow uh, Madeline and Emily to actually grab the pictures and use them for other things even though then you know, getting them and working with them is pretty hard. So that's the first step and that can take often four to six hours to upload the photos. Getting uh, any amount of video uploaded is so much more difficult. First, because we can only upload certain types of content. And second, because generally the uploads are so slow. Now, we've been in Greece, which has generally pretty slow internet, so we're hoping that that may improve, but Italy's not known for good internet, neither is Spain. So we're not really looking at very good chances of getting much better than we've had, and we have a real possibility of being much worse. So far, in Greece, we have about a one megabit per second upload, which is ridiculously slow compared to what we're used to in the US. Like at home, we have 160, so that's, it's less than 1% of what we're used to. And it's not a fiber line, it's not like really reliable one megabit, it's one megabit that's constantly having problems. When we were in our house for the last 10 days, we had a router that would crash several times a day, often in the middle of an upload, and we actually had one entire day where we had no internet at all because they forgot to pay the bill and had it shut off on them. So out of 10 days, if you start looking at the number of times we had problems, it's like, well, we only had about eight and a half days of actually working internet. And then when you look at times that the uploads failed, uh, a single video going up can take often 12 to 14 hours. If that fails, we lose half a day because that one file failed. And there's really nothing that we can do about it except for start it over and try again. So picking which things are gonna be uploaded and in which order and when we're gonna do them is actually pretty complicated. And we have to carefully address what our internet is like at the time, how big of a window do we have to get a file uploaded and so forth. So some things like quick little videos like this, and actually I lowered the video quality on this so that we could get it uploaded, uh, can go relatively quickly because the file sizes aren't that big. But when we're doing good stuff, like the full 4K off the Lumix, and we're doing long format, like when I'm doing the interviews with the girls, those files are so large that they take most of a day on a completely dedicated line to upload. And so our chances of being able to get them up is very low. So those fall really far behind. So I'm trying to balance what goes up. Um, we also have the, the issue that we want to get some stuff to Instagram and some to YouTube. Um, we're trying to get everything to YouTube. It's just going to take a really long time because YouTube gets the full format, widescreen, high quality, um, and Instagram gets 50, 59 second limited low quality square footage. Uh, so it's uh, we're able to, and it's very heavily compressed. So we're often able to upload to Instagram from our phones because you kind of have to. Um, and get some things up there so you can kind of see what's going on. 
and we're often able to upload to Instagram when we're not at home. So we're doubling up on the internet. We leave something at home and it uploads all day and we go to you know a restaurant and we upload something short to Instagram. So that's why you're seeing things on Instagram so much farther ahead than YouTube. It's because you're getting only a fraction of the quality, only a, you know only a one minute video at low quality uploaded from a secondary connection via a phone rather than the, the big high quality videos uploaded to YouTube via the laptop in most cases. Some Sometimes I'm able to do a full quality upload to YouTube from the phone if we just happen to be in a right life. If I find myself in a restaurant and I'm like, oh my gosh, good Wi-Fi, I'll get a video up if I can. Um, and I was hoping we could do some in the airport today, but no Wi-Fi here, so no luck. Um, so that's kind of the basics. That's why it takes so long. So if you think about yesterday alone, we did a 70 gig day yesterday. If we had our internet as it's been for the last 10 days, it would take more than 30 days to upload the video just from yesterday, let alone all the days before that. It's crazy. Now, obviously, we don't want to upload everything. We just want to upload some certain clips that tell a story and let you follow along. So we're trying to blend those things and, and make it make sense. And at the end, where the Take Flight with Scott channel is going to have a full edited video of the whole thing that puts all the different pieces together and is much shorter uh, and is comprehensive and doesn't have the the weird as we travel uh, necessities of, of, you know, being kind of weird videos. So that's why you get the videos that you get and you get them when you get. Um, and consider that as we move forward, we no longer have places for 10 days. Now we're going to be in Rome for two, Pompeii for one, uh, Umbria for two, Tuscany for four. So a lot of times we don't get the days to leave the laptop at the apartment uploading all day. So our ability to upload, even if we keep the same speeds, is going to go way down. So unless we get way better speeds than we've had in the past, the amount that we can upload is going to diminish greatly. So that's what's going on. That's the overview of all the media that we're dealing with. Um, and I mean, just the harsh reality is we have to store most of it. We put in hours a day trying to get it to everybody. There's no way for us to speed it up. There's, it, that's not possible. We are literally uploading 24 hours a day, nonstop. I manage it for hours a day. I'm often up till 3 a.m. making sure that things are moving the way that they should be. Check it first thing when I get up every morning. Never leave the house without having it running while we're gone. And yet, you're seeing the pace at which it's able to upload. So that's that's how much effort's going into getting as little as you get. Um, everything else is going to be uh, uploaded from the U.S. when we get back in July. And then there'll be a really fast catch up uh, to the as we travel stuff. And then we're going to be able to get a copy of the whole thing, send it to our editor. And then she's going to be able to start working and putting the whole thing together into a comprehensive story of the travels.